Another lengthy question asked about the spiritual standing of a person who, having been involved in demonic activity, professes Christ, but does not repent of the former lifestyle and practices. When people who've had little or no Christian teaching respond to a presentation of the Christian gospel, they obviously have a limited understanding of what it means to be a Christian or a follower of Jesus. If they come from a background involving satanic or demonic beliefs and practices, they will have particular issues. They will need to learn what Jesus taught. He said you cannot serve two masters. Paul the Apostle said that after his teaching in Thessalonica, the people turned to God from idols. Note the movement in two directions, to God and from idols. The early Christians required people seeking baptism to state that they renounced the devil and all his works and surrendered themselves to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In other words, we need to teach people the necessity of making a clean break from sinful lifestyles that are contrary to, to following Jesus, as well as accepting Jesus as our Savior, who offers us forgiveness of our sins. In other words, when we come to Christ, it's a matter of embracing Christ and rejecting what is contrary to him. And there's nothing more contrary to Christ than the activity of Satan and his demonic forces. And so we must encourage people coming from those backgrounds to take very seriously the call of Christ. We come to him and we turn from the things that are against him. I hope this is helpful.